following is part two of the presentation on asthma basics and demonstration of metered dose inhaler, spacer, and dry powder inhaler techniques. This is an instructional video only and not a substitute for personal medical care. Please see your health care provider as necessary. Dry powder inhalers are another delivery system for asthma medications. In these inhalers, a pouch or capsule containing the medication in powder form is punctured within the inhaler device. The medication powder is then inhaled. Dry powder inhalers are more convenient because they do not require of the user to time their breathing with the puff the way metered dose inhalers do. There are many different dry powder inhalers, including the Advair Discus, which contains two drugs, Salmeterol and Flutixazone, and the Asthma Next Twist Inhaler, which contains Mometazone, and the Spireva Handy Inhaler, which contains Teotropium. Here is an example of a discus inhaler. Note the pouch opened and the used by on the top of the discus. When you remove a new discus from its foil pouch, you should write both the date you opened the pouch and the used by date in the appropriate spaces. The used by date is one month from the date of opening the pouch. The dose indicator is located on the top of the discus. It lets you know how many doses are left. Each time you use the discus, the number in the dose indicator will decrease. After you have used 55 doses from the discus, the numbers 5 through 0 will appear in red. This is to let you know that there are only a few doses left and it is time to refill your prescription. To take a dose from a discus inhaler, open the discus by holding it in one hand and putting the thumb of your other hand on the thumb grip. Push your thumb away from you as far as it will go until the mouthpiece appears and snaps into place. Hold the discus in a level, flat position with the mouthpiece towards you. Slide the lever away from you as far as it will go until it clicks. At this point, the discus is ready to use. Pushing the lever back also causes the number on the dose indicator to decrease by one. Once the lever has been pushed back, do not close the discus, do not tilt the discus, do not play with the lever, and do not move the lever more than once. Before inhaling your dose, exhale fully. Never breathe out into the discus mouthpiece as this will cause you to lose your dose. After exhaling, put the mouthpiece to your lips, breathe in quickly and deeply through the discus. Do not breathe in through your nose. Remove the discus from your mouth. Hold your breath for about 10 seconds or for as long as is comfortable to allow the medication to reach deeply into your lungs. Breathe out slowly. The discus delivers your dose of medicine as a fine powder and it is normal to taste or feel it. Do not use another dose from the discus even if you do not feel or taste the medicine. If the discus inhaler contains a steroid, such as the Advair inhaler, rinse your mouth with water and spit the water out. This will help prevent fungal infections from occurring. When you are finished, close the discus by putting your thumb on the thumb grip and sliding it back towards you as far as it will go. The discus will click shut and the lever will automatically return to its original position. Unlike with the metered dose inhalers, discus inhalers cannot be used with a spacer. The inhaler should not be washed. To use an Asmonex twist inhaler, first remove it from the foil pouch and write the date on the cap label. Throw away the inhaler 45 days after this date or when the dose counter reads 00, indicating the final dose has been inhaled, whichever comes first. To take a dose from the twist inhaler, hold the inhaler straight up with the colored portion on the bottom. It is important that you remove the cap of the twist inhaler while it is in this upright position to make sure that you get the right amount of medicine with each dose. Holding the color base, twist the cap in a counterclockwise direction to remove it. As you lift off the cap, the dose counter on the base will count down by one. Removing the cap loads the twist inhaler with the medicine that you are now ready to inhale. Note the indented arrow on the white portion of the twist inhaler. Ensure that this arrow is pointing to the dose counter. Breathe out fully, then bring the twist inhaler up to your mouth with the mouthpiece facing toward you. Place the mouthpiece in your mouth, holding it on its side. Firmly close your lips around the mouthpiece and take in a fast, deep breath. Since the medicine is a very fine powder, you may not be able to taste, smell, or feel it after inhaling the medicine. Do not cover the ventilation holes while inhaling the dose. Remove the twist inhaler from your mouth and hold your breath for about 10 seconds, or as long as you comfortably can. When closing the twist inhaler, the indented arrow should line up with the dose counter. Replace the cap and turn clockwise until the inhaler clicks. The click lets you know that the cap is fully closed. This is the only way to be sure that your next dose is loaded appropriately. 
Remember, never breathe into the twist haler. Rinse your mouth after using a twist haler that contains a steroid, such as the Asmonex twist haler. Do not swallow the water. Keep your inhaler clean and dry at all times. If the mouthpiece needs cleaning, gently wipe the mouthpiece with a dry cloth or tissue as needed. Never wash the inhaler. Next, we will discuss the use of a Spireva Handy Healer. The Handy Healer comes with individual capsules in a blister pack and the Handy Healer device. The capsules are to be used in the Handy Healer and should not be swallowed or opened before use. The packed capsules are separated by tearing along the pre-cut perforations. Components of the Handy Healer include the dust cap, the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece ridge, the base, the green piercing button, the center chamber, and the air intake vents. To take a dose of Spireva from a handy healer device, open the dust cap by pressing the green piercing button, pull the dust cap upwards to expose the mouthpiece, open the mouthpiece by pulling the mouthpiece upwards and away from the base. Once you separate one capsule from the blister card, locate the arrow on the blister and bend the corner back and forth, and then separate the aluminum foil layers. Peel back the printed foil carefully until you can see the whole Spireva capsule. Turn the blister upside down and let the Spireva capsule fall out, tapping the back of the blister if needed. Place the Spireva capsule in the center chamber of the handy healer device. It does not matter which end of the capsule you put in the chamber. Close the mouthpiece until you hear a click, but leave the dust cap open. Make sure the mouthpiece is sitting firmly against the gray base. Holding the handy healer device with the mouthpiece upright, press the green piercing button until it is flat against the base one time, then release. This step will make holes in the Spireva capsule so that the medicine will come out when you breathe it in. Breathe out completely, taking care not to breathe out into the mouthpiece of the handy healer device at any time. Hold the handy healer device by the gray base. Do not block the air intake vents. Bring the handy healer device to your mouth and close your lips tightly around the mouthpiece. Keeping your head in an upright position, breathe in slowly and deeply until you feel your lungs are full. You should hear or feel the spireval capsule vibrate. Remove the handy healer from your mouth and hold your breath for 10 seconds or for as long as is comfortable. If you do not hear or feel the spireva capsule vibrate when you breathe in, do not press the green piercing button again. Instead, hold the handy healer device in an upright position and tap the device gently on a table. Check to make sure that the mouthpiece is completely closed, then breathe in again, slowly and deeply. If you still do not hear or feel the capsule vibrate, try tapping the handy healer device gently on the table again and breathe in. If you still do not hear or feel the Spireva capsule vibrate, throw away the capsule by opening the mouthpiece and tipping out the capsule. Check the center chamber for pieces of the capsule, which can cause a Spireva capsule not to vibrate. After you finish taking your dose of Spireva handy healer, open the mouthpiece, tip out the used Spireva capsule and throw it away. Close the mouthpiece and dust cap and store your handy healer device. You should clean the handy healer device one time each month or as needed by opening the dust cap and mouthpiece and opening the base by lifting the green piercing button. Rinse the handy healer device with warm water only. Check that any powder buildup or pieces of capsule are removed. Dry the handy healer device well by tipping the excess water out on a paper towel. Air dry for 24 hours afterwards, leaving the dust cap, mouthpiece, and base open. Do not use the handy healer device when it is wet. This concludes the presentation on asthma basics and demonstration of metered dose inhaler, spacer, and dry powder inhaler techniques. If you require additional information, please contact your local health care provider.